Well, hello there. This is the portal gun, and there's been some confusion on how to install it, so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. You see, I already have it subscribed, but if you have not subscribed to it, once you find the subscription page while searching in a workshop, or however you choose to do so, you click the subscribe button. I've already clicked it. You'll read it in the description also that it says to make the portals work right, run r underscore noviz1 in console. I will go over that as well. And I will show you some of the console commands to change and customize your own portal gun. So when we close the overlay, you see that if it has not been clicked already, it should be a by automatic, should already be that way, but you click install and you make sure it's not disabled and then you click the happy face. The happy face is the most important part. If you don't click the happy face, it will not work. I'm bullshitting, but you should click it anyway. Click start new game. Your game mode should be sandbox. However, it is configured to work with Trouble in Terrorist Town as a traitor or detective weapon though multiplayer mode has had some issues so far. I'm going to keep it in sandbox. Select my map, select single player, and click start game. All right, so now we are in the game. To access the portal gun, you're going to hold down the Q button. To open the spawn menu, select the weapons tab in the top left, and it should be under the aperture science category. You click on it if it isn't already selected, and then you click the portal gun. As such, you can use it to your heart's content. Now, one common problem that you will run into with the portal gun is that when you have two portals, sometimes you'll get this weird black or strange vision issue. This is because the source engine sucks. And it's because Lua is not meant for the source engine. And this weapon is written in Lua. So, to fix this, we have to use a console command. If you haven't already, you can enable the console by clicking Options, Advanced, Checking Enable Developer Console. OK. OK. Then, press the squiggly key. It is above the tab key. It should open the console. Type in the following. R underscore N-O-V-I-S space 1. And then press Enter. That issue will no longer be there. It will be just fine. Some maps do not require this. It will not be a problem on some maps. On other maps, easy peasy. So, while we're at the console, you can open it back up again to change your portal gun with portal underscore. You'll see that there are already a few suggestions here, and this is a list of all the console um, commands. If you'd like to, you can read more about the console command by opening the web page and scrolling down to Convars, which gives a description about each one. Or you can simply type, without the extra argument, portal underscore and then your Convar. So for instance, portal underscore borders tells me that the default is undefined. It's currently one. However, portal crosshair Excuse me. Portal projectile speed. We'll give you actually a short de definition of what it is. The speed that the portals can travel. By default it is 3500. Hope you found this video useful and I hope this clears up some of the confusion. Again, you need to activate R underscore no biz. On multiplayer servers, you can't activate this unless 
the SV underscore cheats is set to 1. On a multiplayer server, only after this is set to 1 can you activate R underscore noviz. The reason that this is, has to be done manually is because Gary has decided to block certain convars, with good reason. However, the legitimate use of these convars is still up to question. And so for the meanwhile, you have to do it manually. And it only works when the server either has SV cheats enabled or if you're playing in a single player game. Thank you for watching.